A lot of people wonder if having a shorter barrel negatively affects your pistol's accuracy, and although science says it doesn't, I'm here to demonstrate with two barrels of two different lengths for the Smith & Wesson SW22 Victory. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Luke, welcome to another Tandem Cross video. Today, like I said, we're gonna be testing the accuracy between two barrels of two different lengths. One is gonna be the Comet barrel and the other is going to be the Spitfire barrel for the Smith & Wesson Victory. Both are aftermarket barrels from Tandem Cross. This is probably gonna be the most unscientific video ever as I have really no sciency, that's not even a word, way to test this out. But I figured doing an experiment where I show that you aren't sacrificing accuracy with a shorter barrel would be beneficial to show due to people's questions about our Comet barrel. If you Google, does a shorter barrel affect accuracy, you get loads of results similar to this. Longer barrels are not more accurate. If anything, it's quite the opposite. Shorter, stiffer barrels tend to vibrate more consistently and are probably more accurate on average. In other words, a shorter barrel would be more rigid, preventing things like barrel droop or intense barrel vibrations, allowing for more consistent shots. But there are some surface level factors worth considering. Like ammunition, of course, inconsistent ammo will produce inconsistent results. Here comes the wind again. Apparently Mother Nature hates 2A content as much as YouTube, so make sure you drop a subscribe because it helps a lot in this space because it's really hard. And if you're using iron sights, as the front sight gets closer, it will appear bigger in the sight picture, thus making it harder to get more precise results. But since I'm using red dots with both of the pistols, we don't really have to worry about that. So I'm going to grab some targets, we'll head to the range, and we'll do some testing. All right, we're at the range due to unforeseen weather circumstances. It's starting to get very cold and rainy and even snowy here. Uh, we are now at my range. So I have targets set up at 25 yards down range, paper targets. We're gonna do two groups of five on two separate targets um, with each barrel, and then we're gonna compare the groups afterwards. And because the Comet barrel is intended to be shot with a suppressor, I'm gonna be using the same suppressor, not even the same model, the same exact suppressor on both barrels just as, kinda as a control. So we will actually start with the Spitfire barrel. I wanna start with the longer of the two first. We'll be shooting standard velocity CCI, um, through both guns just to make sure everything is controlled. All right, so we'll do five rounds on target one with the Spitfire barrel. Here we go. Okay, one target down. On to the second target, Spitfire barrel. There we go. All right, now that we've done the two five round groups with the Spitfire barrel, let's do it with the Comet, the shortest of the two barrels. Here we go. Okay. Second target, same deal, five round group. Separate target, it's the right target. Sweet, there we go. Not my best shooting, uh, but this will do. I'm just gonna put a C here for a Comet. And I did, I did this after last time, but I'm gonna put a two just so I know which one it was. All right, I wanna do one more experiment. I wanna do two more targets, and I wanna do one with the Comet bench rested and one with the, um, with the Spitfire bench rested. And what I mean by bench rested is probably just on the table, but I wanna try it. I warned you guys that this would be very unscientific. I'm gonna be shooting off of this crooked table. <laughs> it's the flattest area I could find over here, 25 yards back. Function. Here we go. All right, Comet barrel, right target. All right, here we go. Let's compare the results. All right, so the way I wanna do this is I wanna just pick the, the two best or best looking groups in my opinion from the uh, unrested set, which was just, you know, free-handed standing up. Uh, we have one of each there and one of each here. I think these ones are better. All right, so on Spitfire 2, which was the free hand, we got a distance of about four inches uh, between the two, between the two uh, or the farthest impacts there. And then on this one, I'll probably say the farthest impacts are probably here to here. Um, Surprisingly, uh, four and a half, so it's a little bit more. Again, this is freehand, so there's margin of error there. All right, now let's look at the rested ones. Make sure the GoPro is on here. Uh, so this is the rested Spitfire. Uh, oddly enough, my shooting was worse. Uh, four and a half inches from, let's get a little bit closer just so we can line it up, make sure we're 
getting as precise as possible, even though this is the most unprecise experiment ever. Yeah, we're, we're literally at four and a half pretty much exactly. And then weirdly enough, over here, this is the uh, rested comet. Uh, this is our farthest here. We are four. All right, so TLDR, I don't think that there's enough data here or supporting evidence that says that a smaller barrel will be less accurate than a long barrel uh, or a longer barrel. They went head to head with each other, both won, whether it be one winning the bench rest, bench rest, or one winning the freehand. So I think it just goes to show that you're not losing accuracy or group size with a shorter barrel. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm gonna go get warm now because it's getting cold. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video on whatever social media platform you use. I'm Luke with Tandem Cross, and we're here to make your good guns great. Keep up with us on social media for daily updates. I'll see you next time.